<laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. Um, we're, we're taking a very professional uh, take at this video and it's going to go downhill from the start. So we're going to start really good here. we got a table which you guys never see in this shop. <laughs> and we're always working on the floor. And we got an engine that's not dripping oil everywhere which you guys also never see before. But what we're doing today is uh, Phil is our director of budget on uh, on the box Chevy build yeah. and uh, we've we've we got a route we're gonna go and uh, you're gonna make sure that I don't go full out Colorado yeah, on full out race car like you do in Colorado. The Colorado if I directed that budget it would have been running our race so we've been doing donuts burnouts everything you know probably hit the toter a couple of times but not yet not yet. soon, soon. Uh, but as you guys know from watching the videos, Colorado build went from being the discount dragon, we still call it the discount dragon because there are some the few on discount, but now it has a, a crank driven F1X on it and a 460 inch LSX getting built for it. And we're not doing that with the box. Uh, so what we're doing with the box, uh, similar to Eddie Murphy, similar to the Ranger. Uh, oh, we have a new name for that. It's called the Stranger Ranger. And um, similar to the Ranger build and Eddie Murphy, we're gonna do a stock bottom end 5.3 here uh, with uh, we're gonna do twin turbo, um, I think pump gas, and we're taking the, the 400 out of the Ranger and putting it in the box. Uh, so it'll just be like you put it in drive and go, and, yeah. you, and you're good Our to go. Our plan is to take this thing from Irwin, North Carolina, drive it to Darlington, make a couple of hits, and drive it back. Four deep. On, on 24s. On 24s. Um, and I think we're, we should lower it on 24s. No, no, no. We're gonna do it the exact same way. Okay, we'll leave it the exact same way. We gotta adjust some suspension and address. Some so suspension issues, yeah. you know, so we don't die. Yes. Uh, but right here in front of us, this engine has been with us since the early start of, uh, of LS Nasty. Uh, I don't really throw shade on this channel. I don't like to throw shade. But I will tell you guys the truth. Um, <laughs> like, a couple years ago, uh, I said a couple years ago, like, a little bit over a year ago, probably a year and a half ago, um, went on Facebook. This dude was selling LS engines that had, like, built bottom ends and everything in them. And we picked up one that was stock bottom end, but everything was supposed to be fresh and gone through it. And the other one was a uh, forge rotating assembly, uh, which became the engine in the boosted rooster. But uh, when we pulled that one apart, it literally had like a main bearing missing. It was supposed to have a, a four inch stroke crank and didn't. Um, it was just an absolute mess. It was definitely a Friday motor. Oh yeah, it, there was like cigarette ash. Some dude was, was ash and sick. Uh, it came from the guys at the Palmetto Auto Pros, I believe was their name. And the only reason why I'm saying their name is because they took a, uh, a 6 to aluminum block and a set of LS3 heads that I had for repair and I never got it back. <laughs> so that's why their name, yes, other than that. I don't think they even do anything anymore. I can't get my block back. It is what it is. I don't even want it. I don't need it. The heads don't need them anymore. So we're all good there. But the reason why we are going to be doing what we're doing with this engine is because we are scared that there are missing main bearings. This is a stock rotating assembly, but um they pulled everything out of the block and i think they attempted to put new bearings in there so we got to make sure that they put them all in yeah. uh but and we've been grinding on this motor too. yeah this motor it's got metal all over it because we're using it as a mock-up block uh, but it's supposed to have a stage two turbo cam in it so we'll pull that out so this video what we're going to be doing is um we're going to be pulling the rotating assembly out of it checking it making sure all the bearings are there put it back together uh we're going to do the old uh dingle ball hone that you guys have seen on the cleanest McFarlane channel um and we're just gonna clean it up, get the, knock the rust out of it, get the metal out of it, and put it back together so it'll hopefully run and drive when we put it in the box. And Phil is gonna be our, our lead tech in this video. I'm just gonna be your aide. Right. So, uh, all right, let's get into it. All right, one thing I do wanna state, um, you want to put the pistons back in the same holes they came out of, and thankfully they actually carved the numbers into the top of the pistons. As you can see, one, Three, five, seven. I am concerned that some of them are upside down, but I think they just etched it on there wrong. Uh, eight. What, the pistons? No, because you see these dots. Yeah, and no, I, I, I think they just etched it on there incorrectly. No, 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 but if the pistons were upside down, the dots would be on the opposite side. Yeah, so we're good. But thank you to the guys at Palmetto Auto Pros for um, doing that. That's awesome. So now we have, we know what, what hole it's got to go in. Uh, what is, is that a two? It looks like an eight. No, it's a two. It's upside down, though. All right. So uh, your standard truck 5.3, and generally what I would say is don't take the bottom end out of it. Just put a cam in it and ride, but we have to do this. So we're going to put some stuff on the table here. And uh, here, I don't think that we're going to be able to spin this one all the way around because I put these badass washers on here. 
You know what I'm saying? It's alright, we only need to go halfway. Don't let that thing get away from you. Don't let it get away from you, Phil. Oh, God, we can't. Here, pull, pull it out some. I have one job. I'm not an expert at pulling out. All right, stock crank, so the windage tray is not spaced. They got that down. We got a timing chain on there. They got that down. The crank is actually painted blue like the block. It blows my mind that this is, this is occurring. And the crank looks absolutely horrible, not going to lie. It's probably not that bad. A lot of this stuff is superficial. Like, it could look bad, but it'll run fine. So don't get scared by me saying, oh, that looks terrible. It'll run just fine. You can, it's an engine. These things are pretty strong. You can neglect them to a pretty extreme extent before stuff really starts getting bad. All right, Phil. I mean, the only thing we're really going to do is that we're just going to pull this apart. And if it blows up on startup, we're just going to put a piston rod on it and then not tell you. And then tell, tell everybody that it's still stop bottom end. Why would we do something like that? Somebody did that to me. Wow. <laughs> I, hate you. I have to delete all of that now. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, this is definitely a Look at how they just painted everything. You could tell it's like it's got that peanut butter stuff yes. on there. Like they had it they definitely had this apart. hundred percent. Look at the carving in the damn... Who assembled this motor? <laughs> what did they use? Used oil? <laughs> did they like... Feel the counterweight of the crank. I'm gonna assume that's... I've never pulled a stop bottom end apart. I lied. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have. Alright, we need to get a, uh, a crank bolt. I kind of just oh, we gotta pull. We gotta pull the the, the front okay. cover off. Yeah, the tan over here. I'm interested. I'm really interested to see if this is an actual stage two turbo cam, like supposed to be in here. What if we pull the cam out and it's missing a cam bearing? I mean, I don't think they did cam bearings on this. No, and it's missing a cam bearing because you know sometimes like, the cam bearing would just fall out of the motor. I and hope it not. Just said bump it. And we could probably, uh, being on budget, do we want to reuse this? Oh, yeah. Budget? Here, hold on. Still got a little lip to it. What oil pump is this? I don't know. It looks like they painted it. No, I didn't paint it. It's like... It's definitely shimming it, whatever it is. So it has more oil PSI? It's like a melon. There's no way that's a melon oil pump. It's like a... Oh, yeah, replacement melon. Yeah, this is, uh, no, you know what it is? AutoZone. You know what it might be? Oh, you know what it is? What is eBay. it? Huh? eBay. eBay? It's eBay. <laughs> oh melon would say melon on it. So. Oh, look at this, damn. Uh, gun drilled, uh. I know. Lightweight cam gear. <laughs> oh, that one wasn't even in there. Yeah, it was. That gun's just that badass. So. Zero organization on the They're all the same bolts, TBH. Ben, what's your thought? Is this going to have uh, mains in it? Main bearings? I wonder if all the stuffing like, is them. How's that feel? How's a gas gasket feel on that? Needs a gasket? You want to pull the cam out? Yeah. Get me a large. Oh. oh. Looks like you might have got all the cracked rods right. Come on, Phil. Get it, Phil. Get it, Phil. Don't nick it. The cam looks new. Promising. It's almost like I've done this before. One. We gotta Google the cam specs. Yeah. I look at the blue on the reluctor. Yeah. There's a blue like all over this. I'm kind of like, curious about these caps right here. What about them? I wonder if he got the... Uh... Them, uh, they look to be on the right. So a, a stock rod, it's a cracked uh, main cap. So it's not like... You, it only has one home. You can't put number seven cap on number six. Or else you're just going to have to mash it down. And all rods have to have... 
the tapered side out and flat sides toward one another. Wait, towards one another? Mm-hmm. Well, this isn't this isn't correct then. The they're both pointing the same way, aren't they? Yeah. The tang is supposed to be on the exhaust side. It's supposed to be opposite. So this is. I'm gonna. I was. I was taking these two caps off to try and see because I'm hell. I'm oh. wrong. But it's, it's a comp thumper cam. <laughs> Shut up. That's not the cam. Shut up. It's comp not a stage cam, two. hydraulic roller cam. What? Like, does, is it for hydraulic boost? Hydraulic roller, 275, 295. Oh, it's. 275? Yeah, 275, 295. Definitely don't need to hit these with a hammer. Hold on. Okay, so tapered side is out. Flat side. Look at all the peanut butter they put on that, on the bearings. Right, tapered side in. Oh, uh, they put them on backwards. They put them both, yeah, just like you, like, see how these look like they're going the same way? Yeah. They have to be facing away from one another. So that means one of these pistons is, is or put on the rod backwards. See, I don't think they put the, took the piston, put, took it out from the rod, though. They gotta go. Here, push this guy out, out the bottom for me. Huh? Whoa. Well, I'll just say whoa and then not talk. Hold on. You got a bad motor here or what? <laughs> okay. I think it was put together by people that know less than what we're doing. Which is scary because I don't know. God. Well, the rod is like a jam. The rod bolts are thin. I can't pull them out. <laughs> Golly. Phil, our budget has gone out the window already. Oh, that's actually how they go in. <laughs> oh God, dude! Try and because they're not floating wrist pin. <laughs> I mean, but still, though, like that. Move it. Is that not good? I'm really concerned about it's been this. Sitting for a long time. Uh, we've been spraying WD-40 on it every month for the past eight months. Yeah. Plus all the metal shavings from everything else. <laughs> The rings ain't been filed. Ben is over here just absolutely losing his mind. What's going on? Okay. So, both these edges are beveled a little bit, but one has definitely got more than the other. Well, this is number seven, hence because the they, they carved it into there. Where's the point? Or where's this at? The is not perfectly square right here. It's got like a little bit of a the oh, you can bottom see that is rounded. It's built up with all the peanut butter. Yeah, whatever that is. So where this counterweight, this line is, it's got kind of like a like a rounded edge at the bottom down there, and so they had to cut this in there where the two flat sides go towards one another. Wouldn't it be so much easier if you just never take apart the bottom end? No, because you spend all your time putting it in there and it run for three minutes. No, no, no. I'm saying like when you get the engine from yes. GM. Please don't take it apart. Don't yeah, take the bottom end apart. I literally just told a dude this in, in a uh, PM the other day. Like, why would you take it apart? It's a stock motor. It's like 400 bucks. If it blows up, go get another $400 motor. The only, That's the reason why I won't put a built motor in I don't know enough about this stuff. I let TKM put all this stuff together, and, and clearly they seem to know what they're doing. So now that feels a lot better. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, that's backwards, obviously, because <laughs> he had it in wrong. Yeah. So he's got the chamfer up against the... Uh, that's did they pull the, the pistons rod. off the rods? Both, both going forward, did they pull yeah. the pistons off the rods? Probably. And that's why they put them on the rod backwards. Yep. I can tell you. They put them all in here backwards. Um. Press fit. Dang. Mm, yeah, you definitely uh, definitely press those out because uh. Mm, that's pretty uh. It's pretty bad, bro. Feel that. Oh, hey, you hold it. Oof. 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 He probably bent the pen. <laughs> so, it's supposed new to plan. Like <laughs> <laughs> new plan. Looks like we're. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to fall. We have another block. We don't have another block. No, I got. Hold on. Come over to the rotating assembly section of the shop here. Let's go up here to our uh, our storage. You know what? This is what I get for selling every rotating assembly I get. 
I think I got cranks up here. Looks like we're going to be taking another trip to OKQ. Looks like we need to get another one. Nope, I sold everything. Yep. I got a set of heads. I got two sets of heads. That's it. I sold all my rotating assemblies. So, LKQ? I don't want to go to LKQ Am I still again. again? Yeah, you're still wet. Hold on, you're coming back into it. Now you look like a fresh rack of barbecued ribs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, we have to uh, revisit this. Hey, maybe Crank's good. We could just do a set of, like, dude, why don't we just do the most Chinese set of drop-in? No, like, cheaper than that. Let's just try to go, like... Isn't K1, like, the cheapest you can get? I think they make some off-brand stuff that's even cheaper. Summit. Like, let's do a set of Summit, like, pistons and rods. Yeah, they're, like, it's probably, like, 700 bucks for a set. If it works, I'm definitely going to build a motor for my dude. <laughs> We're not going to push it that hard, all right? God, all right, let's go. Alcohol. Well, we got to tear it all apart anyway, so... Crank not being good. So, I guess, what are we gonna title this video now? <laughs> it's still budget. We're just on a different budget now. Oh my god, did they file these rings? No. They did. They did? It didn't look like they did. Look at that ring gap. What ring gap? There is no ring gap. Yeah, what ring gap? Exactly. Total, total seal rings. <laughs> <laughs> that that seal may power. be... Seal power. Oh, that may be like... That's like 5,000. Nah, that's like... That's three. like three. <laughs> two or three thousands. Maybe one. If we tried to start this thing up, what would happen? It would, okay, so the, it would have locked up. <laughs> but if this was only the only problem, the first time you hit it with any substantial amount of boost... It'd blow the rings it'll, out of it. It'll blow the top off it'll, that it'll piston. It'll sweat. Or it'll, it'll, it'll sweat. It'll swell. <laughs> and it'll push these towards one another until it can't no more. And then the hydraulic, like the pressure that gets built up in that groove, will just like. Muffin cat peeled back. <laughs> oh my god. Well, guys, we're still doing budget, but you're going to see the cheapest used parts. Used parts we can do. Um, the crank should be fine though, so we could do like a super cheap piss and rods deal. Yeah. We are talking about like a Summit brand. Oh, here we are. You're ready to see it once you take the daggone bearing out. Oh yeah, this. Yeah. This yeah. goes always yeah. against the on the outside. Yeah. yeah. To the crank, yep. And so if you see the rods and they're all going the same way. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Were they all going the same way? Yeah, yeah pretty much. So... Hector and his two spoon engineers was putting this together, <laughs> and he should stick to his his HB 28s. <laughs> Is that wrong? That's terrible. <laughs> where'd, the, where'd the other ring go? It sealed itself. Right there. Oh, that's the one I really wanted to see. So they obviously come with more meat on them, meat on them, and you have to file them down. Yeah, that's the yeah. purpose of them. But yep. these should have been stock rings, like. No, they put. They definitely put like okay. a. Here. My coke nail. Right? So. It's <laughs> 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 <They're> supposed <laughs> to be like. The top one's supposed to be like 26, and the next one's supposed to be 28 or mm -hmm. tw 26 and 28, 28 and 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been That's like here. what you run generally. But what about two and five? <laughs> you gotta run like. It all goes off like the board side. So at the top of the off. map, you know where it's like you're at like half a pound of boost, <laughs> and you know on motor, still crack a ring. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, so new strategy. Let's take everything out. Make sure the crank's good. Let's let's see if it has. The last one didn't have main bearings in it. Uh, yeah, I mean, so we're we're already at a. So we'll, we'll use the crank, and we'll just get the cheapest set of pistons and rods. Yeah. Some brand. A, and like that, ultra budget. Yeah, but but if I they, mean, I know we're not doing a junkyard bill. We're doing the ultra budget setup. Ultra so budget. It'll still be Chinese parts because you know that Summit stuff is probably still. It's like whatever Eagle used to oh, forge their the rods to scrap. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, we. Summit rods are basically <coughs> when Eagle forges a rod and they got all the scrap metal in there. They just remelt that and then you buy a Summit rod. That's what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is it two hundred dollars for a set of rods? Oh, well, I wonder what their I beams cost. Four hundred, maybe. <laughs> Rate of, hey, what's the one they saw? The Chinese rod, no name, off brand, mm -hmm. H beam, fifteen hundred wheel horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, sure, all right. 
We're gonna find out. As long as we don't give John the scramble button, we'll be all right. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so not that it matters, but we found another issue with this 5.3. Just took the, the pistons and rods out, and as you can see here, it has this issue with all of them where they're just stiff. Stiff. I mean, they're just, they're like locked. The put together dry. Yeah, they're locked in there. I mean, you got grease good. everywhere. Oh. <laughs> and, and not only is it not a 5.3, it's, it's a 4.8. It's a 4.8. Ben, what crankshaft is this? A one two five five three four eight two, meaning it's a four point eight liter. So this Look. badass five three that we got is not even a five three. This is this uh, this is GM's four point eight liter center counterweighted <laughs> billet crankshaft. <laughs> <laughs> four point eight liter. Oh yeah, the center weighted billet the crank. This mug to like eight grand. I think I have another crank laying around over here. John, no, there's a crank upstairs missing 58 Oh, damn. If you put Holly on it, don't fucking matter. No, no it does matter. Look at that weak throw. It's like the offset's <laughs> tiny from here to here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be a turbo motor. 90 degrees. So it really doesn't matter. But we'll go stock crank, and then uh, we'll do pistons and rods. Um, I got to set a heads up there. We'll take the... The 660 springs that came off the black sheep, um, and we'll put them on these heads. Because, I mean, it's not going to float the valves making 10 pounds of boost. 10 pounds? Ha! What is that? <laughs> is that what's, is we're putting that, this in the box. Is that what we're starting off with? Oh. I mean, I was going to run it on uh, 93, so then we're limited. Oh, so. oh more car parts. Yeah. Gonna be real pissed All right, well, we have a game plan. We're still gonna be budget though. We're gonna stay in budget. Suit, and what we'll do is we'll list the price of everything that yeah, we're at. We'll right on the whiteboard. Even though you guys hate whiteboards, we're gonna do a whiteboard. All right. So we can keep track of the build and the budget. That's 16. You know John likes to get crazy. So. Budget. Stock heads, stock ported heads. Use springs. Use springs. Push rods cost like 70 bucks. Yeah. So, ultra budget. What are we gonna do about like machine work? If we do a set of pistons. Hello, Hello. Dangleberry. Welcome to uh, BKM. <laughs> BKM. <laughs> I, I hate you so much. All right, well, I guess let's, let's, let's yank the crank out of this. Let's yank the crank out of this and let's dingleberry hone it. All right. All right, guys, I searched through the shop. I found some parts, um, some engine components to uh, put this budget build together. Uh, I really, truly do believe that we can get it done in a budget fashion. Um, but you guys are gonna have to wait and see in tomorrow's video or the next upload uh, what we got going on. So uh, that's what it is. We're getting down to the end of the giveaway. Um, as you can see, I'm running low on merch. If you haven't got your merchandise yet, the quantity of orders uh, has thrown me for a loop. I've been about 10 days behind getting stuff shipped out. Plus, you're looking at three to five for shipping. So. Um, if you got your order in a timely fashion, um, awesome. If you're still waiting on your order, I have a list. I have like 40 left. Some are like really old, some are recent, but I'm doing my best to get them out. Uh, and as soon as I can get the shirts in my hands, I will ship them out. Um, so be patient. Uh, a couple of you guys were emailing me uh, about when they'd be arriving. As of right now, everything is operating normal in the postal service and I'm getting shirts shipped out. I should be getting uh, my last order of shirts in uh, tomorrow and then shipping the last batch of these out where I will be up to date. But thank you guys so much for the participation. Uh, we're going to do a couple more giveaways and I got one new shirt coming out. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. We're going to do a double double points limited edition shirt day uh, or two days. Uh, but it's a badass. I, mean, I don't know if I can tell you this. It's a black sheep shirt. Never done a black sheep shirt before. That's tough to say as well. I got it down twice um, with my big teeth and all. What a crazy, what a crazy little clip I'm filming here. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. If you guys participate in the Corvette giveaway, uh, thank you for that. If you haven't already, we're giving away a Turbo Corvette. All you got to do to enter is go down. First link in the description below is my merchandise store. Uh, you go down, pick up any merch, any hats, any shirts. Uh, every item is an entry to the giveaway. And uh, random draw, you'll be uh, entered to win. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for participating. Uh, be on the lookout. We're going to have a lot of information coming on in this budget build that we're about to do. And uh, we're going to go from there. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.
just doesn't know how to do a mediocre burnout. Right? 